Good morning, prayer partners. I got to continue this Bible plan reading. I think it's important. And the title today is Overtaken by Blessings. Curse rests like a shadow over a person, shedding out the sunlight of God's blessing. No matter what you do, the curse is like a wall hindering your progress. Humiliation, barrenness, mental and physical sickness, the breakdown of marriages and families, poverty, defeat, continual oppression are mentioned in the Bible as signs of a curse upon a person. Deuteronomy 28, 15 through 68. And we are all familiar with these words. But thank God for Jesus. Thank God for the cross. Galatians 3, 13 and 14. Christ redeemed us from the curse of the law, having become a curse for us, for it is written, Cursed is everyone who hangs on a tree, that the blessing of Abraham might come upon the Gentiles in Christ Jesus. So how was Abraham so blessed? The Bible says the Lord had blessed Abraham in every way, in all things. Genesis 24 verse 1. How generous is our God? Look, he looks for every avenue to bless his children. Now as we enter into Christ's obedience, see what the Bible says. Deuteronomy 28 verse 2. All these things shall come upon you and overtake you. That means firstly that blessings are chasing you. We don't run after blessings, but we run after the giver of all blessings. As we live in Jesus and learn to honor him and be a delight to him, the result is that God's favor is released over our lives. Each morning brings abundant blessings, which are ours because of Jesus Christ. Let's time, it's time, y'all. Let's declare. I am the seed of Abraham, and his blessings are mine. Galatians 3.14 Through Jesus, my family is blessed. Genesis 12.3 Lord, show me mercy and give me favor. Genesis 39.21 Let me have favor with you, Lord, and with men. 1 Samuel 16.22 My set time of favor has come. Psalms 102.13 Lord, you are good who blesses and rewards those who diligently seek, who diligently seek after you. Excuse me, Hebrews 11, 6. Let me be blessed with authority. Genesis 39, 10. Let me be satisfied with favor and let me be full of your blessings like Naphtali. Deuteronomy 33, 23. Open upon me your good treasure and let heaven... Rain fall upon my life and bless the work of my hands. Deuteronomy 28, 12. Let my people see that I am called by your name. Deuteronomy 28, 10. Let's play, pray and we have some specific prayers. Father, in the name of Jesus, we pray for the youth of this generation that is coming up. Some feeling like they may have a curse over them, but we believe you to help them through exams, career, life, guidance, and even into marriage. We pray for grace for each one of them to overcome temptations in their lives and to live holy lives before you, Lord. We pray for single mothers and fathers, widows and widowers, that they may experience your hand in special ways, that your grace will abound in their lives because your grace is sufficient. I pray for all singles who are waiting to be married, God. They will learn to discern your will for them in marriage. I pray for my prayer partners that they will continue to know that you've broken the curse. There just ain't one weapon that's being formed against them right now because you are breaking them. Let us believe on you and let us recite these declarations over us by the power of the Holy Spirit. And in Jesus' name, amen. Have a wonderful day, prayer partners, and don't forget, enjoy Jesus.